In this video, we'll write the balanced net ionic equation for NH3 plus AgNO3 plus H2O. This is ammonia plus silver nitrate plus water. This equation is already balanced. If you count the atoms up on each side, you'll see it's already balanced. So when we do net ionic equations, that's the first step. We balance the molecular equation. Next, we write the states for each substance. So ammonia, we're going to assume that this is in water. It's dissolved in water. Little AQ, it's aqueous. But do remember, this is a weak electrolyte. It's going to be a weak base. We'll come back to that. Nitrates, very soluble. Let an AQ there. That'll dissolve, dissociate into its ions. Water is a liquid. Hydroxides in general are insoluble. And silver hydroxide, that's insoluble. So this is going to fall to the bottom of the test tube when these substances react. So this will be a precipitate. This is a precipitation reaction. Because of that, we have the solid here. It's insoluble. Ammonium compounds and nitrate compounds, very soluble. So this will be aqueous as well. So we have the states. Now we can split the strong electrolytes into the ions for complete ionic equation. So we're not going to split up NH3. Even though it's aqueous, it's dissolved, it's a weak base, so it doesn't dissociate into its ions. This is one to remember. So we're just going to put NH3 here. And I'll write the states at the end. Let's not do that now. Silver is always 1 plus, and the nitrate ion, that's 1 minus. So we have our silver ion, Ag plus, and then we have that nitrate ion, NO3 minus. And then water, we don't split water apart. It's a liquid, so we just have H2O. These are the reactants in our net ionic equation. For the products, we don't split solids apart. So we keep the AgOH together, and then the ammonium ion right here, that's one plus, the nitrate we said is one minus. So we'll have the ammonium ion, that NH4 plus, and then we'll have the nitrate ion, NO3 minus. So this is the complete ionic equation. Now we can cross out the spectator ions. They're on both sides of the complete ionic equation. So I have my reactants here and then my products. I can see the nitrate, I have a nitrate ion here and then again in the products. That's a spectator ion. We can cross that out. Everything else is different. So this is the net ionic equation. I'll clean this up and write the states in. We'll have our net ionic equation. So this is the balanced net ionic equation for NH3 plus AgNO3. So we have this ammonia here. It's important to note that this will dissolve in water, but since it's a weak base, it's not going to break apart into its ions. So we'll keep this together as NH3. You'll note that charge is conserved. We have a positive sign on this side and a positive sign on this side. So charge is the same on both sides. If you count the atoms up, they're balanced as well. This is Dr. B with the balanced net ionic equation for ammonia plus silver nitrate plus water. Thanks for watching.